chicken donuts. <laughs> Chick <laughs> chicken donuts. <laughs> This turned out to be one of the most relaxing spots we've been in for ages. And if you believe that, you'll believe anything. Baby pheasants? Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen a baby pheasant. Every time I take off, I always have the thought in my mind, just how much longer will I be allowed to do this? We are Carol and Ken, and we like touring in our little red camper, a tiny Nissan MV200 built by Sussex Camper Vans. We mostly wild camp and like to show the scenery, van life, food and a bit of history. People tell us that we're relaxing to watch, so give us a try and see if you agree. If you do, then give us a like and hit that subscribe button for more adventures from the Little Red Camper. If you're interested in anything we use in the van, then just click the affiliate link in the description. Straight down. Are we on go juice? We should be Plenty. full, are we? Yeah, yeah, nearly full. Okay. We well, are coming in with you this time. Yeah. I go and get frustrated inside Leclerc. Come on, Daisy May. Everybody keeps confusing our UK sticker thinking we're from Ukraine. Maybe I should start saying I am. Do well, you go and have a look. We'll split up and uh, yeah, but we're going to split up for a while and I'm going to just have a look around. All right, see you in a minute. I have to be in the mood for clothes shopping and unfortunately I'm not. What are they? Chicken donuts. <laughs> Chick <laughs> Chicken donuts? <laughs> no, we're not having them. We eat a lot of junk food, but you have to have some limits. Uh, that's uh, cheese, goat's cheese, oh, I wouldn't like camembert. That one. Camembert, I wonder what that one's like. No, I don't like camembert. Mushrooms, Bernays sauce, three peppers, mm. roquefort. We use sauces like that quite a lot. I haven't seen any steak ashe. No. You always get them from the bottom to me. So a puree of tomato, concentrate with roast beef, beef, pork, carrot, onion, sugar. Those little tins turned out to be absolutely wonderful. What is that? Whatever. That looks like it's got chicken in it. Yeah. It's got salmon. It's huge, isn't it? Yeah, we cut it in half and do half each in the fridge and piece. Yeah, let's try them. Bare feet. Bare feet. Do you want to try them? Oh, I don't, they might just be plain. Well, it's only one way to find out, Charlie. Let's try some bare feet. That'll do for lunch. Nice little shop, but in the clerk. What's good in there, yeah. Yeah. Generally do good stuff. It's a nice spot here, but there's only one place where I can get the van level. And even then, it's still in the sun. Right, it's time to get the drone out to show you where we are. So we have the river, a cycle route going left to right, and a camping spot and a lake dead ahead. This little boy seems absolutely fascinated with the camper van. 
So this is the pizza we're having for lunch. It's a stuffed crust, uh, spicy with grilled peppers and chorizo. So he's all cut into four slices. Let's get it in the Ridge Monkey. A quarter slice fits in just nicely. Yummy. This turned out to be one of the most relaxing spots we've been in for ages. Mmm, first slice is cooked. Looks jolly lovely. How's your pizza? Got a bit of coleslaw with it. Mmm. How's the stuffed crust? Well, it's not like you get in England massive, no. huge stuffed crust, but there is a little bit of cheese in it. Tasty. Very tasty, very nice. Good. I've been good, I'm not having any. <laughs> and if you believe that, you'll believe anything. We've heard more cuckoos whilst we've been in France than we have in the rest of our lives. I think we have. Funny only in this more northern part of the region. As we went further south we didn't seem to hear this. No. There's a pheasant there with two little babies. Baby pheasants? Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen a baby pheasant. Oh, three, that's another one that's just come into the picture. Oh, four. Last piece of pizza for me. What are those big leaves at the base of the tree? Are they dock leaves? A bit like gunnera that you get, that grow those really massive thick ones. Yeah. Hello, duck. Come on then. Hello. Every time I take off, I always have the thought in my mind, just how much longer will I be allowed to do this? Drone laws are constantly changing and very soon we're all going to be required to have trackers on our drone that can identify exactly where we are at any given time. It would appear that any member of the public that heard your drone could just check on an app where you are standing and then come up and challenge you if they wish. I don't think I could be bothered to deal with that. So at that point, I'd probably check out of the drone flying club and just stay with ground cameras. And I think a lot of YouTubers might just choose to do the same. We go on these trips and make these films for fun, not for hassle. Anybody can use the app to identify the flyer. And that goes for the criminal fraternity as well who might be interested in stealing your drone. Of course, the real reason for all of this control is that they want to clear the skies for the big boys to start making their drone deliveries. And who knows, that might be better for everyone. It's one thing though, to have the occasional drone taking video and quite another to have the constant whirring of drones passing over your property, delivering packages. As for these ducks, they just don't seem to care. <laughs> we
We've been here all day, just relaxing, and it's been absolute bliss. The more trips you do in a camper van, the more it begins to dawn on you that the real joy is finding somewhere to park up where you can stay the whole day and that night if possible. Pre-boiling the water, which is nicely salted. So I just cut half the pack away. Portion control, and only half comes out. Here's these little tins of meat sauce. Absolutely beautiful these are. Right, so the sauce has just gone in now. That looks quite nice actually, that sauce. A bit of a sloppy dish up. Wine we'll see. Wine. Carol's on the wine tonight and I'm not going to be drinking. It never bothers me not to drink. I used to work in the pub trade before I joined the police. I didn't really develop the taste for it some of this wine with it. Okie dokie. Mm. Mm. So what was in those little tins then? Um, well it's basically just tomato sauce and, um, and a meat sauce. Mm. Very easy. Very tidy, yeah. mm. They're yummy aren't they? Mm. Well I thought those the meatballs were absolutely delicious. And the little tin of meat sauce is a success as well but if I was doing it again I'd add some sugar to the sauce, sweeten it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to the bear paws for breakfast. A sunset coming down. A little pot of tiramisu. This won't cut it, baby. Yeah. This is. This is on a par with the rum bar bar we. Oh no! Is it not any? Is it worse than what you would get at home? Yeah, it's the same as what you would get at home. That's what I was expecting. Yeah. And it's fine because I've had my wine, <laughs> so I don't mind. She don't mind. Very nice. Everything's nice now, mm. isn't it? Oh, just something sweet. Mm. Thanks for my bear paw. I don't know what's inside it. It's like a custard, isn't it? I'd mm. say. Mm. Just on the edges, I think. Oh, really? Oh, no, is it apple? I don't know, I've tried it. Well, it's, it's just like a custard. Custard, the bit round the edge yeah. is just custard. Mm. We got sucker punched on the bear paw. It looked cute. Mm. <laughs> That's about it, really. So you did your hair a different way today. Do you want to tell them how you did it? What's it look like? Now, chaps, we all know this is a trick question and there can be only one answer. Right. Fine. Good. This is dangerous because I don't think I put enough energy into that. 
So instead of using the shower head spray, yeah. I just put a little bit of water in the bowl yeah. and then using a flannel just wet my hair and then I shampooed it with a little bit of shampoo and then we'd warmed a jug of uh, water in the pan and you got the um, jug of water and poured it over my head so I could rinse it. Yeah. Just half a jug. So you were rinsing in clean water. In clean water. water. And then um, got most of the wet off with the flannel. Yeah. And then put the conditioner on. And repeated it. And repeat that with clean water yeah. to rinse off. And we found it was less messy than the shower because yeah. the water wasn't spraying everywhere. And I think probably you could use maybe less water because mm. we only used like yeah. a jug and a half. So we don't really total. need that shower now. Well, we'll see, maybe not. But we'll we could see. use it for other things, like if we do ever have a shower outside. Now that's a good idea. If my ratings ever start to drop, I could just take all my kit off and shower outside. Do you think that would work? Yeah. One day, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. One of the biggest risks faced by the campervanner is driving off and leaving your chocks behind. Oh, a lovely park up. Yeah, it's perfect. So we've been here nearly a whole day. Yeah. Very relaxing. Oh, and he knocks a cone <laughs> over. Is this the worst lorry driver we've seen in France? Yeah. Tried to go through the red light back there, then brought the road from yeah, the oncoming traffic. Reverse, the reverse of shame. They certainly don't like potholes here, do they? No. You very rarely see one. They are to be commended for that. Yeah. We haven't come across a single collection, have we? No. Yeah. Never tried these before, have we? It'd be interesting to see what they're like. The ones made in the store. Yeah. These in the front screen to keep the heat out. These are in the direct sunlight in this car park. They certainly look in business, don't they? Three euros twenty for the two. So it's very reasonable. Yeah, but it's all what they taste like, innit? Yeah, that's what counts. And we will tell you folks. Uh, is the cheese melting? It's browned. In goes the next one. Well, they certainly look good when you've got them on the plate. That's better. Got a few crisps as well now. Yummy. Okay, let's try the sarnie. 20 for two. Oh, yeah, it's pretty good value. So what's your verdict? Oh, I like them. They're really nice. I like the cheese on them. Ham. Good. Mm. Well, lunch was good and we ate it in a very historical place. This tower on the left will give us a view across one of the most famous battles from history. Go up to the viewpoint, survey the back of the field. Cool, blimey, these steps are in a bit of poor condition, I are think. The uh, two down there certainly were. Uh. And that one, and that one. Oh, it's up here. We're looking at the battlefield of Cressy. The Battle of Cressy took place during the Hundred Years' War 
between England and France on the 26th of August 1346. On that fateful day, the French army commanded by King Philip VI greatly outnumbered the English army led by Edward III. The French, however, proved to be overconfident, thinking they would have a simple victory over the English. The French crossbowmen were routed by the English longbow and their cavalry were hampered by the fleeing crossbowmen, muddy ground and having to charge uphill. The final hand-to-hand -hand combat was described as murderous, without pity, cruel and very horrible, resulting in an English victory. It was this battle that established the effectiveness of the longbow as the dominant weapon on the Western European battlefield. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video. We have loads more to watch in our playlists. And this footage is taken from our series called The Trip That Beat Us. If you would like to see our channel grow, then the best thing you can do to support us is hit that subscribe button and give us a like. If you do that, YouTube will show our videos to so many more people. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time for more adventures in the Little Red Camper.